hi all so welcome to this channel and in this video session i'll discuss external stored procedure uh, calling rpgl program with input and output parameter in ibm is pundit so earlier i created uh, two videos uh, which are mentioning about uh, calling rpg program uh, from the stored procedure as an external program with no parameter or with input parameter so this time we have both input and output parameter so we will be passing some parameters values and we will be receiving some values as an in output parameter through the rpgd program in the stored procedure out params so let's start with the demo so first thing uh, we have this file extpf1 which have which has two fields field 1 is a teaser and the second field is character so what we are going to do is we have a program extpgm3 and in this program we are taking uh, these params as an in input you can say say so out of these three we are taking input in these two parameters and one and two and two and the third one is a return one so you can see in the code that insert into this file field one field two n one and two so whatever the values coming into n one and n two will be saved into the file xtpf one as an input parameter and the sql code of this query execution will be returned back to to the caller that is the stored procedure that's an external stored procedure which is calling this program so that's assigned to the sql code is assigned to the variable in, which is of type integer l underscore sql code and return back to the caller so let's compile this first So this program is created. So we can see the object. Now the time is to create the. We have an external program and we need to create an stored procedure that is an external one. So this is the script to create the stored procedure, which is external stored procedure. So create procedure. This library, uh, the library dot. the procedure name so the procedure name is qualified with the library and the procedure name is external stored proc3 and then it starts with the bracket and that brackets end here so in between that we have input parameters and output parameter so either uh, we can write param1 integer param2 cat10 or param3 integer so it's just the optional denotation for an input or output parameter language is rpgli specific name is this that is every stored procedure have a specific name which is uh, different from all others so that an stored procedure must be uh, unique in its existence so we do not have the uh, object for this external stored procedure but we have an entry in the catalog so specific name uh, must be unique but we can have the same name of stored procedure this one this name can be see same but this would be different for every stored procedure there in the schema external name this so this is calling this program extpgm3 which is present in this library so qualified with the library modify the sql data yes it is inserting equal into the sql table parameter style general and then we are executing the sql query using execute mediate so that's all in this uh, program so let's compile this so now this is compiled uh, again now this now we need one more program which is called which has to call this uh, stored procedure 
so let me show you that call proc3 so we can make a call of this sql stored procedure using the sql call so we need to write execute sql then call statement then the stored procedure name qualified with the library name so is the class one dot stored procedure name so this must be the stored procedure stored procedure name we cannot use a specific name here so that's come into picture when we are going to drop a stored procedure so basically the role play of that specific name is there so if we have multiple uh, stored procedure with same name and we want to delete that we can delete them using the specific name so here you can see i'm passing the parameters param1 uh, these are treated as the host variable here when we assign them as a parameter comma param2 colon param2 colon param3 so this one is the output one and this one is the input one so we are passing 3 and test 3 and param3 is initialized with minus 1 so that we will be uh, getting back the correct SQL code if it's changed with minus 1 means we are getting some feedback from the called program from this external stored procedure so let's Compile this to now. The first thing is uh, we have uh, created this program, external program, and stored procedure program, and a caller program which is calling the stored procedures. Now, since we created the program which has the script to create the stored procedure, but we did not create the external stored procedure. So let me uh, check if we have this stored procedure entry in catalog tables. So this one is says params. We do not have any entry, and same is says procs. We do not have any entry into these tables. So, so the first thing is to create this. So let's debug this program ext proc 3 just set the breakpoint at line number 1 and call ext proc 3 so this is initially blank and then we have the script in this variable SQL proc create procedure this input parameters in one integer type in param2 char 10 comma out param3 integer 10 language rpg is specific this external name this modify the SQL data parameter style gender so just execute this so the statement is executed let's check the SQL code so the SQL code is 0 which means the stored procedure got created just check the display job log procedure this was created in easy class 1 just check so we can see the stored procedure got created we do not have the object existence for this procedure because this is an external procedure so we can see this is an external procedure and it's calling xtpgm3 these are all attributes of the stored procedure and if we check the same in the param so we can see three entries because there are three parameters two are input and the other one is output we can see its type and all those other precision things now either we can call it call this from here we can call this call that stored procedure name that long name which we have specified here this one and we need to pass the input parameters and we need to receive the out params so when we are calling uh, from the strsql we need to create a global variable using create variable of type integer so that whenever we are calling this call 
is the class one dot external proc stored plus proc three, and then in bracket we need to pass some integer value, comma, some character value, comma, and then we are not going to pass any value with the th for the third parameter. So we will pass the global variable which we are going to create using create variable and which is of type integer. So that will hold the result which is written from this external stored procedure. So if you want to make a call from here, so you need to do this. So if you uh, want to do this at your end, you can uh, watch my previous videos of SQL stored procedure where I have shown this thing that you can call the stored procedure from the STR SQL. So I have basically uh, given the demo using the STR SQL sessions by calling the stored procedure, SQL stored procedures or SQL functions uh, from SQL. So you can watch those videos. But what I mentioned here is that, that you can call it from, from the SQL session, just you need to create a global variable and in place of value for third parameter, you need to uh, pass the global variable name and you will receive the result in the global variable and then you can check using select then global variable name from sys ibm dot sys dummy one so you will see the value which you have received uh, uh, that is the return SQL code so let's just move on so you can see that the stored procedure is created now the time is to call the stored procedure call proc 3 call call proc 3 It's three, it's just three, it's parent three minus one. Shift F10 once, twice, thrice, four times, and five times. So if you press Shift F10 multiple times, you will get there into the uh, called external program from the which is called from the external stored procedure. So you see that you have received the parameters. So the SQL is 0 and you got L underscore SQL code as 0. And you can see the param 3 is, is received as 0. So that is successful. So let's see if I call it. So the insert was successful. Let's see. Select a star from ext pf1 So let me evaluate eval SQL code as let's say 100 so L underscore L underscore SQL code is 100 and it's returned to the caller. So you can see you received 100. So I just manually changed that to just let you know that you are getting the correct values in the while you are sending while you are sending some parameters as an input. So you can see the record were inserted. So yes so this way you can uh, create an external procedure which calls an RPG program and pass some input parameters and return some output parameters so those output parameters can be more than one or one so it depends upon your requirement 
and yes you can make it at your uh, self so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time